Hi friends, uh, this is Lily and I am here to make butternut squash ice cream. Does that sound appetizing? Well, we're going to find out just how appetizing it is. I have my grandchildren here, Eileen and Gavin, and they are going to help me. And so I have some butternut squash, and in case you're not sure what a butternut squash looks like, this is a small butternut squash. And so, anyways, I cubed it, I roasted it in the oven with no oil, no salt and pepper, just plain old roasted butternut squash. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick it in, here Gavin, can you plug that in for me? Thank you. And Eileen, can you dump that in there? Okay, dump all of this in here. Okay. Ooh. Yep, you're good. There you go. Good job. Man, you're a good cook. All right. So what we're going to do is this frozen squash, we're going to add a few things to it. So Gavin, I want you to add some of this. Just pour it in until I tell you to stop. Where? Just right in there. Okay, that's good. Let's stop there. And Eileen, just pour a little bit of that in there. Okay, this is coconut stop. milk. This is almond milk. All right, I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, that looks good. Okay, stop. Okay, put the lid on there. Now, Gavin, I want you, can you pour a tablespoon of, here, hold the tablespooner, and I'm going to have you dump it in here after I fill it up. So you have to have a steady hand. Have you got a steady hand? Oh, there it goes. Okay, pour it in there. <laughs> you can do it. Stop laughing. You can do it. I'd rather steady hand. Good job. <laughs> You'll get all of it in there. All right, so now we're going to have Eileen do it. We're going to see how good Eileen does. We're going to do a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of vanilla. You hold that. Okay, oh, look at you. You're all ready. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. All right, so we've got coconut milk, vanilla, maple syrup, and almond milk. And now we're going to put the lid on. Oh, you know what? I think we can put some cinnamon in there, I think. I'm just going to put a little bit. All right. Just a few shakes, not much. All right, let's turn it on and see what happens. It's probably going to go crazy because that stuff is frozen. Whoa! It's not doing too much because it's frozen, but let's open it up and see what it looks like. Well, look at that. I think we should add a little bit more of this, Eileen. Go ahead and add a little bit more of that. This is going to look like turds. <laughs> no, it's too, it's too orange. Okay, that's good. Looks like the lid off. It looks like pumpkin or something. All right, let's go. Let's see. It's much better. I get my handy dandy. I love this tool. Okay, let's look at it now. Well, it's got starting to get the consistency of ice cream. Look at that. It's frozen. It's starting to get smooth. Wow, cool. All right, let's put in a little bit more of your coconut milk, Eileen. Okay, I think a little bit more. Okay, so when it's really frozen, you kind of have to add a liquid to it in order to get it to um, smooth out. Need some liquid to get smooth. All right, get a close up and see how it's doing. See how good it's getting? It's starting to smooth out. Okay, let's look in here. Okay, look in, can you see in top? It's not so much chunky anymore. Oh boy. 
No, Gavin, pour in a little bit of the almond milk. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Okay. And that's it, really. You just blend it until it has the consistency of a smooth, creamy ice cream. You can do this with frozen bananas. I've never done it with the butternut squash, so Gavin and Eileen are going to be my taste testers. And I do have frozen banana that we can add to it if it isn't any good <laughs> this way. Gavin's <laughs> yeah, just like crying out. Oh, Gavin, you're going to be brave. Okay, let's see how it is now. Well, darn it. Oh, Gavin's just like, oh, jeez. Hey, it's getting creamier, but I think it needs some more liquid. Gavin, don't be mean. Gavin, go ahead and put in some um, more milk, some more <laughs> almond milk. We're almost there. Come look at it. Oh, Gavin. Bring the camera and look at it. See, it's starting to get creamy. Okay, that's good. Because we don't want to add too much because then it, it isn't cold anymore. It's just sweet. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to end up being more like soft serve, possibly. All right. Does it look like it's getting creamy? Yeah. It does look like it's getting creamy, doesn't it? Some of it looks like there's scrambled eggs in it. Oh, it's starting to. That's a good sign. All right, now let's see. Look at that. Does that kind of look like more that like ice cream? Fun. Well, you know what? I think we need some more milk. Um, let's see. Let's add some of that. And most of it is creamy. It's just that there's still some chunks in there. So we want to kind of get rid of the chunk a little bit more. Are we about out? We are about out. Why don't you put a little bit of that in there? So this is coconut milk. You could use all of almond milk. The coconut milk gives it a little more creamy. All right, let's try that. We don't want to put too much. We'd rather put in too little and then add some. All right. Frozen butternut squash. Now, you know what I usually do is I taste test it. I usually test it to see if it needs more sweetener or more cinnamon. So, if you like, I can be the first one to taste test it. Okay, good. Okay. Is it going to be all of this? Gavin's just like, please be good. Please be delicious. Oh, look at oh, that. that looks... Come look at this now. Now oh, this yes. looks like ice cream, right? Oh, Gavin, come on. All right, now, okay, I'm going to taste it. I still see a little chunks it's in there. but for you because all right. you like ice cream. Still tastes squashy. Mm -hmm. All right. I like squash. I think we're gonna add some more of that. We're gonna add some of this. At this point, randomize. We're well, just gonna. That, that. All right. <clears throat> Which technically, I guess, it means you can freeze anything and run it through there. The only way it's going to be good is if it's really sweet. You can freeze anything. <laughs> you can freeze steak. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I want to add a banana in there. Gavin, stop acting so bad. That's not bad. It's different. It is different. He likes bananas. Frozen like bananas. Weird. I do frozen bananas. <gasps> Okay, I'm, and I'm going to cut them up into little pieces to sort of help them um, unfreeze oh, quicker. Good. It's 
The bananas smell good? Yeah. Alright, let's put this one in there too. What the heck, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Vin, you like bananas. But I don't like ice cream. Of course. You don't like ice cream? He hates everything that tastes good, basically. Oh, my. Yeah, to you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> everyone in the world. Everyone loves ice cream. So I'm this one. All right, let's see. Are we going to get those? You're trying. All right. Yeah, we're probably going to have to mix them around. So they won't just be at the top all the time. All right, let's see where they're at. Oh, they're in there, but they're still kind of frozen because it's all very cold. Eh, throw some more of that in there. That's going to make it cold. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't get the bananas frozen. Is that good? Uh, a little bit more. Okay. Hey, bananas! Banana, banana, banana. No. All right, let's see how it is. Oh man, we still got lumpy bananas in there. Try to mash them up. Kill the bananas. All right, I pushed them down. All right. The frozen bananas and the frozen butternut keeps it really cold. That's what makes it ice creamy or creamy. Mm. All right, how are we doing now? We're doing much better. I think most of them that I shoved down are doing better. All right. friends when you get to be older. They're actually twins. You're twins? All right. Let's... How did you get to become a twin? Mm. Uh -huh. no, no. That is not bad. Maybe it's because Different, I was little but not bad. trying to kill me. I was not! I, was, I didn't even have a brain! I was, I was tiny! Yeah. Just like, <laughs> it was like your some... neck, it was your arm. Uh -huh. Okay, I just put in some more cinnamon. So it's different, but try to have an open mind. Alrighty. Gavin, I'll just give you a little bit in case you don't like it. I'll give you a little bit. You can always have more. Okay, so as you can see, get a close-up. This is very creamy, cold ice cream. Now, there we have our butternut ice cream, butternut squash ice cream with some banana in it. All right, say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for joining us. And remember, wear your apron because you're a real cook when you wear an apron. Bye. I can't wait. <laughs>